Yo, we're here. We're here a little bit earlier today. It's 1.20. Uh, dude, so I'm behind on posting videos. I don't want you guys thinking that I'm like skipping any days. We have not skipped any days since like two weeks ago, okay? Uh, I just, I'm a little behind, a little backed up with the uh, videos. There was just a day I forget, for, forgot to post it. And then last night, I think I told you guys on my way back, we got done working out at like 6.30 at night. And then I went straight from there to my dad's house. No, no, no. I went straight from there to my house, got something quick to eat, and then um, went over to my dad's house to use his sauna. Which, dude, if you guys saw, follow me on Instagram, which the links are in the description, but if you follow me there, you probably saw it on my story, but holy crap, dude, that get, that thing gets hot. I think it got up to like 150, 160, uh, and I was in there for a solid 25 minutes. Dude, oh, it gave me a headache for the rest of the night, which is what I want. Like The, the way these sauna, the way I use saunas, you definitely don't have to take it to that point to get the benefits from a sauna, but my whole, I take it, I use it like an MMA, MMA fighter uses it because that's the main way I like to use it and it's it's a little dangerous. You gotta be, you gotta be very, very careful. Again, I'm very certified in all this stuff. I was doing it in a very safe place, my own dad's house, so I wasn't worried. Uh, but you take it to pretty far limits, you know, and that, the reason we do that is because that's exactly what it feels like to be on round three of a MMA fight. Like you're, it's, it's not the, obviously the getting hit and stuff and the kicks and like all that stuff wears you out. But the, when they talk about cardio and endurance and MMA fighting, that's what that feels like. It feels like you're overheating. Cause that's what's going on. Um, literally at the end of my MMA fight, uh, I got hit a lot in the face. Like I had to get stitches in, I don't know, you can't see it now cause they had, they had like a top notch fucking, they had the best plastic surgeon in Missouri when I fought. Uh, I can't, it was on this eye. Uh, you can't probably even see. Yeah, they did a really good job. But um, I had to get stitches in this eye from getting hit in the face. Uh, and I, I remember a few times where I got hit and I saw white, you know, so I was concussed, but that's not what made me throw up. I threw up at the end of my fight from being overheated. And that's honestly what felt the worst. I think, I think in concussion with the concussion and that probably they were a combo. Um, but I've thrown up from being overheated since then. And it feels very much the same thing. I felt that same kind of feeling last night. Um, so I like to do that because it it trains. It is a way of training your body. There's a lot of research behind this, by the way, guys. But it does train your body to withstand uh, overheating more. So it does have, and this is where it's crazy with the results uh, as far as like what sauna therapy does for you. But the way it works, man, is it trains. And I can break it down into a little bit too scientific to a point where it may, I might lose a few of you as far as understanding this. So look this up yourself. But the way it works is they actually train your cells mitochondria. And what it does is it teaches them to, it's kind of like training your body. It teaches them to be able to take more heat so that they don't die off. So like another example of this where you would need this is when you have a flu and you get a fever, right? When you get a fever, your body gets really hot. Your body starts having these reactions to it where you start overheating. And that's typically what kills a lot of people when you're an older person right? Guys, they've done the research. I think it's, now go back, someone fact check me on this, but I believe it's up to a 90% decrease in mortality rate um, just by doing the sauna a couple times a week. It's huge, guys. It's training your body to literally withstand the flu. And as you get older, again, guys, this is what killed people during uh, the pandemic. This is what killed people when they have the flu and they're older. It's, it's overheating, your body overheating and your body just not being able to take that. Um, again, it's a huge decrease in mortality rates with that kind of stuff. Um, and I can definitely understand why. So it's something I want to get back into. It's just hard to get into a rhythm with it when you don't have one at your own home. Um, but I'll try and hit at least do that like once a week. Like, God, that wore me out. I got done doing a workout and then I immediately went and did that. And dude, holy shit, I felt worn out. <laughs> but it was good. I think it was really good for me. Um, but anyways, we got legs today. Big thing here is I think the main like squatting type movement we're going to be doing is a um, shit. Shark pit the shark pit because we haven't used that in like a week so i definitely want to get that out we'll probably start with that Pro try and go pretty heavy with that too um as heavy as we can and then a lot of machines i think after that i think you know because we did a lot of pressing last time i just want to give my knees some time to not be pressing too much but again we are, we are doing the uh 
the shark, I keep forgetting the name, the shark pit. So it's gonna be one of those days where we're just gonna have to kind of see what's feeling good. Um, my knees feel fine. I do wanna go ahead and warm them up and stuff like that. I, I think I've been skipping out a little bit on the foam rolling. Um, so I need to get back in action with that. And my psoas, I need to release my psoas muscles too. Um, so there's a little bit of stuff we're gonna be kind of playing around with today, uh, but definitely starting off with the shark pit. So let's get inside, get warmed up and get after it. All right, starting off with the pit shark. Whew, my stomach is feeling all kinds of funky. Definitely a little dehydrated. I can definitely tell. One, it's because of that sauna. But two, because I didn't really, I didn't really focus on replenishing the fluids enough, which is my fault, 100%. Ooh, but this thing is kicking my ass today. And I, dude, we went heavy. Like, I did a whole more one extra plate on this for a set of five, and it that was rough. <laughs> I did get it recorded. I, I think I'm the main cue I use here is like. Record the heaviest stuff for the TikTok and Instagram. You know what I mean? Ow, I hit my toe on the way down. Anyways, the game plan here is five to eight reps. Um, just for two more sets. I, again, I don't want to just hammer down on these joints because we've been, we've been kind of doing that a lot. And they feel okay. Uh, I'm just kind of, I'm thinking about it. Because next leg day, I would really like to maybe not do deadlift next leg day. But the leg day after that, I want to go really heavy on deadlifts. Um, and then I also want to, I don't know. There's a few different things I have kind of planned up. I want to get some lunges in or, uh, maybe some step ups, some like unilateral work ma mainly, but the, uh, the game plan for today is these, after these go hamstring curls, seated hamstring curls, if I can, if it's open, um, and then go immediately to calves. The reason I want to go to calves after the hamstring curls is because it's really easy to use your calves on a hamstring curl machine, so they're probably going to be pretty pumped up after that anyways. And uh, I haven't been given as much love to the, the calves as I've been like the quads and hammies, which is fine, but today we'll switch things up a little bit. And then we'll go back to the quads, kind of the, the end out the workout, you know, as far as like what I'm showing you guys. You know, I, other than that, I might get in some... Uh, I don't know, maybe some uh, step ups. I, I really do want to go ahead and get some of those in. It's been a minute. All right, but we'll see what happens. Ugh, it's heavy as fuck. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, shit. That's just a lot of weight. That's what I mean about putting a lot of pressure on those joints. Oh, shit. Man, I forgot. We got to hit glutes, too. We have to hit glutes today. So instead of step ups, we might do some glute kickbacks or something. But we'll see. Let me catch a breather and we'll get one more set of these in. I'm definitely already sweating. Pretty damn good. That's a good sign. It's just, uh, it's gonna be a long day, man. We got, we got, so I said everything we were gonna name. I forgot we also gotta go ahead and get the reverse hypers in today, too. Uh, and the 30 minutes of cardio. <laughs> Shit. We got a lot. I think for the 30 minutes of cardio, we might just do like three different machines. I'm not doing bag work today because I've been doing that a lot lately. Again, that's when I started noticing like my, uh, uh, my knee kind of tweaking when I was throwing my kicks, so I just gotta be a little bit more careful about them and just make sure I'm warming them up properly. Um, which is not, again, we're not taking a lot of rest days. We're not taking any rest days. So, like I told y'all, we might, huh, I don't wanna say that. Cause I told y'all that we, if we can make it to like Valentine's Day, the 14th, that I would take one, but I don't think I want to. <laughs> I don't think I want to. I feel fine. Uh, and you know what, you know, for rest for me, is going to be like active rest anyways, but we'll see how we're feeling. I do know that like sometime in the near future, we probably need to do a good yoga day and that would probably be a really good idea. Like a good two hour yoga day, which sucks though, because y'all would miss out on one of those days. But I mean, it's just one day. 
Because I'm not going to record two hours of me doing yoga. You got me fucked up. It's so boring to watch. Come on. That's it. God. Whew. Feels so funky because the range of motion is so much different than a regular squat. I feel like I need to go deeper, but I literally can't. Like it hits the ground. <laughs> oh, anyways. Very good, very good. I just feel worn the fuck out. I think you can actually adjust this from the way I'm looking at it. Ah, uh, maybe not. Whatever, it's fine. That felt like it kicked my fucking ass so get these racked back up and then i'm gonna yeah that hamstring curls are open so we're gonna go hit some of those all right well so much for the game plan we had Ugh. we did get the hamstring curls in so i wasn't feeling them very well i mean i was feeling them i, said, I definitely got a hamstring kind of like pump it's just i wasn't feeling it you know what i mean so today what we're gonna end up doing is going back to our old our roots and uh, we'll do, we're doing single leg, leg extension. So I did like a solid eight sets of the hamstring curls. So I'm, I'm good on them. Um, what I think we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and do these. And then we're gonna go ahead and get the calves done with some leg presses um, on some sort of leg press machine variation. There's two right next to me. We might use one of those. And then after that, I think we're gonna go ahead and skip the glute extensions for today. Since we did do the uh, pit shark and we're gonna be doing reverse hypers, we'll get them hit, it's not gonna be a problem. But instead, we're gonna go ahead and do some step ups with a barbell, um, cause I haven't done those in a long time. And I think they're, as far as like developing my quad, there is genuinely a part of your quad called your, I think it's called your serratorius. Very long, weird name, but it only really is, it's one of your hip flexors, but it's really only getting hit when you do like leg raise, it's a hip flexor. So hip flexors only get hit when you lift your leg up like that. And so it's really like, kind of like right in here. And uh, I wanna really start developing that, putting some mass on there. So I think we'll try and get some kind of step up variation. I, I hate to say every leg day, but weekly for sure, you know. Whew, all right. This is the most I've done on this set, so let's see how this does. Six, seven, eight, uh, ten. Woo. Give it a little break in between. A little tip for you guys is anytime you're doing one side at a time, give yourself like a good 15, 20 second break before you go to the other side. You definitely don't want to get lopsided and you're definitely going to be favoring a side if you don't do that. So I always try and do like 15, 20 seconds. I'll do 30 seconds if I want to. Like with these, these are pretty damn heavy. So I want to make sure I have plenty of energy and I'm giving just as much attention, especially with my negative part right here. Eight, nine, one more. Because if you don't do that, again, you're gonna get a little, little lopsided. And also you're just, you know, you may get seven reps on one side and like only like five on the next, you know, it's gonna be a little bit off. So just an easy way of making sure you're gonna be fine with those. I need more weight. You know, I, we've been doing a lot of drop sets this week. Not today, you know, I think the day is just like weight. You know, I think that's like the main progressive overload I'm looking for for today. Uh, Mainly, I'm just trying to be very aware of my joints, you know. Uh, next leg day, I think we're going to be doing some reverse lunges. That's what I would like to go ahead and start with. And that way that the leg day, I know this is getting way too complicated, but just what I'm game planning. But the leg day after that, we can do deadlifts again, you know. And I want to see, because I think that pit shark is really going to ramp up my deadlift weight. And like I said, after the, uh, the 14th, after we get that next in body, we're gonna start really focusing on power building, you know? So 
Fun stuff, fun stuff. Let me add some more weight. All right, we got a full stack. Let's just see what happens. <clears throat> Lefty first. with eight god damn yeah definitely waiting a good 30 seconds right here oh man so much for not putting too much pressure on the joints i always man i'm gonna keep doing that to myself i'm gonna keep telling myself hey we're gonna go easy because i always it's always like reverse psychology with my ass <laughs> i go ah we'll just try this out just see what happens oh shit all right this is the strong leg so i'm not really too worried with this one uh, 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 mm, uh, oh, good to know we can do a full stack with this thing. Oh, good God. All right. Let me get set up for some uh, leg presses with some calf raises superset. I think that's going to be what we do for the calves today. All right. Now I'm thinking about it. We are hammering down on the quads and not giving enough love to the hammies. Which I mean, we'll just make sure we get some next time. Again, we got deadlifts coming up here soon. And uh, I don't know, we'll figure it out. I feel like the shark pit also hit them pretty good now I'm thinking about that. I don't know. I, I just mainly, I feel like I got like a freaking bubble gut going on right now. It's cause I feel like uh, I, I messed up on my food last night. I, I ate in the middle of the night for sure. I tracked it, but I know that's that'll fuck my digestion up. I need to not do that. It's also gonna affect, honestly. I think just I just based off my knowledge on how intermittent fasting works and stuff. Like, I really do think I would benefit more from the bulk if I did fast at night. I went a full twelve hours, honestly, because it's gonna make you more uh, more sensitive to insulin. You know, so that means that like when insulin, you do eat some sugar, obviously. Uh, your cells are going to react better to the insulin rather than me, you know, eating constantly and just getting, you know, blood or getting my blood sugar spiked like constantly throughout the day, even at night, if I'm eating at night. Um, I do think that'll affect how much muscle I can put on just based off the response on insulin. But again, that's all just theory. That being said, if I have that in my head, I think that I should be doing it. You know what I mean? Like if I'm even just thinking that. If the science makes sense, uh, do it. Doing really heavy weight here, by the way. A lot of quads, a lot of strength for the quads. Uh, uh, and it's not a lot of range of motion, but that's because this specific uh, leg press really just focuses really right here on the inner side of your quad, which is, you know, it's not a lot, but it's great. The, throw in especially if you're trying to like increase your uh you know range of motion not range of motion sorry increase your weight on reps i think especially for uh squat you know and then calf raises main intention with the calf raises push my heels out or i guess the front of my ankles out God. Woo. Yeah, that wears the shit out of me, dude. Oh, it's just a lot of pressure on my feet. Wish I'll be okay. But give that a good, decent break, and we'll go one more time on these. All right, let's rock these out. wild like stretch on my uh like in front of my shins here specifically on my right side four 
Uh, okay. Uh, God. Yeah, I definitely won't do this one every time. Because it's definitely this, like, I feel like I should be moving more, but this is literally as far as it moves. Which again, with a super set, if I'm going super heavy like that, I honestly don't mind that. It does wear me out. I'm having to take a second to catch my breath. But, got those out of the way. We're gonna go ahead and get some step ups in. And then, that'll be the last thing I record for you guys, but then I'll have to go ahead and hit some core. And then I might go ahead and get some extra hamstrings. I really do feel like I need to. So, we'll see what happens. All right, real quick, I didn't uh, record the step ups, but we did get them in. I didn't get that many sets in. These are looking juicy. Let's take a look at the top as well. I am beyond loaded, dude. Uh, like I can feel all the gases inside of me building up. Not bueno. Not bad either though. I'm just really pale, man. That's something we gotta, you've always gotta get a tan. I don't look terrible though. Legs, I can tell the claws are really starting to pop in. I'm starting to see a lot more definition in there, which is kind of crazy. Again, I was expecting to be a lot, I guess, fatter. Good Lord. But now, as I've been bulking, that actually the, everything's been getting kind of more cut, as weird as that sounds. Let's check out these hammies. Hammies are getting there too, good lord. God, they're starting to come in too. I wanna to focus a little bit more on them because I know it's just a huge chunk of like mass that we can add on. And you know, the more mass we got, the less fat we're gonna have because of metabolism. Good night. And of course the calves are never just too bad. I just feel like the digestion's really rough today which is never what you want when you're doing legs. <laughs> Let me tell you, that pressure that was building up when I was doing those, uh, well, the leg presses, but also the one step, uh, the step ups, it was just feeling like a lot. <sighs> well, that's not bad at all. I've got y'all at a funky angle because I'm just trying to kind of get this through with, because I still got to do 30 minutes of cardio, but we weren't just going to skip up on legs Ugh. I gotta work on it it's just I feel like I'm about to throw up it feels like I, I drink a lot of salt water it's lit I know that sounds strange but it just feels so thick in there like I feel like I need to burp but it's like a bubble that won't burst you know what I mean so I don't know I'm gonna go do some of this cardio and chug some more water we almost got a gallon down but successful leg day Oh, no, I got, I got abs done. Sorry, brain's all over the place. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get that cardio done and then I'll pull y'all back out in the car. And just like that, we're done. So, your boy just let out a shit ton of gas. I know, too much, you know, too much information, TMI. But your boy just let out a shit ton of gas and I feel so much better. That was in me the entire workout. <laughs> Crop dusted the entire fucking parking lot, bro. <laughs> but dude, I do feel a lot better. That's the worst, like feeling that, um, just that pressure. The whole work on a leg day, it's just the worst day to have something like that happen. Um, but like I said, if there was, out of the past seven days, this was probably the least intensive workout I've had. And that being said, it was still a two and a half hour workout. It was still pretty damn good, you know? So cannot really complain. If that's the workout, worst workout of the week, it's still not bad at all. <laughs> like, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, tomorrow is back day. So we'll focus a little bit more on, I think we're actually gonna get some pendule rows in, potentially. We'll see how we're feeling. Um, but I'm definitely for, for fucking sure, making sure that we don't, uh, no more eating at night. I know that's a big part of it. It just gotta be like really, big about like once I get done eating I got to be done eating you know what I mean the best thing that helped so far is like uh turning on a timer uh 
and just trying to be done eating by 8 p.m., which is hard to do every day. It is. I'm not going to get mad at myself if I can't do that, but definitely before 10 p.m. If I'm not done eating by before 10 p.m., that's my fault for not prioritizing it. Sorry about that. Running out of battery, so I'll go ahead and wrap this up. <laughs> Back day tomorrow. Expect greatness. I don't know what we're going to be doing, uh, but it's definitely going to be back in lats, probably lat focused. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Again, I think Pendelay Rose or Ben Over Rose with a barbell uh, is definitely going to be on the agenda, but uh, I also might go ahead and do some just like research, look up some old bodybuilding style workouts and just see if there's any exercises I haven't done in a while. T-Bar Rose wouldn't be a bad idea either. Um, I don't know if both of those would be a great idea because I do want to get some lat activation. But anyways, we'll figure it out before tomorrow. But I'll see you guys then. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.